Having a good understanding of what a function argument means, we can now talk about another important component known as default arguments. Sometimes, if an argument is not passed through, but you want the function to have a starting value no matter what, this is where a default argument will come to your assistance. Now you can see it's just hello dollar sign name. Then we'll simply add name equals and then whatever our definition for the default argument should be. In this case, we'll just do friend. That way, I can pass through an argument like this. So I'll say hello and then Mike. That way, it'll say, hi, Mike, how's it going? But if I choose to just pass through hello, remember, we didn't define anything outside of the function scope like before, but now it's going to say, hi, friend, how's it going? Now, what if we wanted to do multiple default arguments, just like in our greet function? We'll simply add the same way we did it before, which is equals friend and then equals morning on time of day and name, respectively. This way, I can still call greet Mike afternoon and get, hi, Mike, good afternoon. But if I pass it with no arguments whatsoever, it'll just say, hi, friend, good morning. Now, let's say we wanted to make an argument uh, predefined as optional. Well, the way we do that is in the same way we've done default arguments. Let's say, for instance, I don't really need you to provide me a time of day. Well, let's do that by simply eliminating it set to morning and make it equal to null. This way, we have to check inside the function if time of day is set. So we'll check if time of day, and then we'll surround our previous statement with an if and an else. Now, if time of day is equal something other than null, it'll say hi, name, and then good time of day. But we need to provide an else as well. So what we'll do is just say echo, hello, comma, name. Then close that statement with a semicolon. This way, I can still say greet Mike afternoon and get hi, Mike, good afternoon. But I'm also able to just pass through Mike to our greet function without the time of day, and we'll end up getting this back. Hi, Mike. So now let's take a look here in Workspaces on how to work with default arguments. So far, we have had some arguments here. We've passed through arguments. If we don't pass an argument, we'll end up getting an error. So uh, what we'll need to do is create default arguments so that way we don't get the errors when we forget to pass through. Uh, we'll also look at how to make arguments optional. So Let's start with creating a function that will show a little bit of info about someone and maybe uh, who they are or a title. So let's start with creating that function. So function and then get info. Okay, and we're going to have two arguments here. One is going to be the name and the next one is going to be the title. Okay, then open and close our curly braces. So now we have our function. Now inside of this function, what we want to do is just echo a string. So echo, and then we'll go ahead and do double quotes because we know we're going to output some uh, variable information. So let's start with name, and then has arrived. They are with us as a, and then title. So this way, in a string format, if I was to say get info, and then pass through two strings. So let's say Mike, and Mike is a frog. Okay, so we have multiple arguments here, and we have one is the name, and the next will be the title. So notice they're in the same order as they were defined on line three. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this, and then take, out, take a look at the preview. So here we see it says, Mike has arrived, they are with us as a frog. Okay, that seems perfectly reasonable. Let's go back over and say that we forget to type in frog. We just save this and hit refresh. It'll say Mike has arrived. They are with us as a nothing, as a blank. Well, we don't want that. So we're going to need to define some kind of default argument here. So let's go back over to our code and then say get info title and name. Well, let's say we want to define a title to start with. So we say title equals, and this is where our default is, and we'll say friend. All right, now save it. And if we don't use title as an argument, um, it should come through as friend. So we'll go ahead and hit our preview, refresh, 
And there it says Mike has arrived there with us as a friend, which is great. Okay. Now, what if we wanted to take and make the title completely optional? Well, that's pretty easy to do. Uh, all we need to do is remove equals friend and just simply say equals null. Okay, this way it's not going to report back any kind of errors or notices for us. But we need to do something a little different because otherwise it's just going to come up with that blank again. So let's create an if statement to test whether or not title exists. So we'll say if, and then we'll say title. We don't need to see if it's true or anything like that. Just simply saying if title makes sure that it exists. It's anything other than null. All right, so if title, we're going to open and close our curly braces. Or then else, we're going to do something different. All right, well, I'm actually going to use this line. So I'm going to cut it and then head back up here and paste it in. Let me make sure my tabs are good. Okay. And then here, if we don't have a title, we want to echo something different. So echo and then name has arrived. And then welcome. Perfect. All right. So now we close that with a semicolon to end our statement. So if we go down and run what we have currently by going to our preview button, refreshing it, now it says Mike has arrived welcome because on line 13 here, we did not pass through an argument. But if we do pass through an argument here, such as, uh, let's say, frog, save it, and then refresh our preview, now it'll say Mike has arrived. They are with us as a frog. So in order to get a uh, optional argument, we can simply pass through the default argument as null, or we can pass through a string or any kind of value we want to use as our default argument in the argument definition of the function, such as in line three.